So make I just pause this quickly. If I'm bullying, if we're not hearing me, because we experience some little bit of a technical difficulty here, just don't speak to the technical team. But if we're not hearing, we do give you a thumbs up, something like this, please. If we're not hearing, we please give us a thumbs up, please. So we go continue with the program. We are about um, five, six minutes late. Um, but sure enough, we can do with that. Preso Song J Man, you're watching. Welcome to the program. If you hear me, just give me a thumbs up on your gadget where you watch something like this for me to do. Can I have a thumbs up, please, if you're not hear me? Hassan Manso Kabo, welcome to the program. If you hear me, can you give me a thumbs up, please? I need a oh, okay, yeah, okay. I've got it all green. Many, many thanks for that. Uh, many, many thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Pambulem, I bring a warm welcome and hearty, hearty greetings. Very warm greetings from the Den and Our Media Empire. Today, the 5th of December 2021, me now on a host and presenter on the Den and Our platform, Prince Emil Koma, the camp owner with a very, very special program. Um, the program is special in every respect, and we'll come to that shortly. I want to deal with one or two issues in the background quickly. One, of course, this is now an APC program, and an APC get now we get, and we play the song where we play. Of course, it's an old song, I believe, as we use after the elections, but it's still a song out there yet, which then came the minister on. We just want for me that no special guest will be, but we just want for left and we no say this because we just don't talk a few people they come live now. It make we delay about five, six, seven minutes. 
Um, it definitely they come live. It just get caught up, but it go turn up. And that nothing will we know for sure because it don't give reward. And I think say he's coming in now. Um, okay. So like I've been to say, fam, I want for let we share this program far and wide. I really want for let we share this program far and wide because it's not something important now they can discuss now about the future, not only of a political party. It's very interesting, very serious about a political party, but it's not only about the political party, but the direction of the country. So it not only means say now the people that will support this party with the symbol the nami, nami background. Now there's no more need for listening to the program, but we need many others for listening as well. So for now, the number is still developing, it's still low, but we know say it will get greater. Um, Adama Mambu, um, Natoma, welcome to the program. Sir Moses Bumbuya, I haven't spoken to you for a while. Welcome to the program and hope um, everybody's fine. Mr. Usman Conte and everybody else. We are on a low shape, let will bring other people that they can hear me. Um, let me just do a sound check because I'll not be able to do that because my guests, they run late. Um, you there, you there hear me, sir, Mr. Guest? Uh, yes, I hear you. Okay, we you. Oh, yeah. For that. A quick background to this story, which is not strange, if not to, to every Sierra Leonean, or very especially regarding the party we want to talk about the All People's Congress. Well, the All People's Congress don't get a headache since they lost power. They've been on the back foot in the back pedal. Sometimes they work in this as such. I can get people away, can get upset with me. Uh, you know, I can understand their sentiment and their emotions, but the thing why they say it's just realistic. Now that's exactly they happen. They've been on the back pedal because pressure is being applied on them. So things they weren't supposed to do, they are not doing them because for some reason, somebody else, they make them focus on other things, them such as what you want to talk about today. We're very, very legal. A lot of what we're going to be talking about is very, very legitimate. So after we will gone through a, then get for go through the transition report and then corruption charges and most of the members then put them on fire and then itself uh, is this internal you know this politicking directly the party for the uh, suppose for take al constitution whether in 1991 or 1985 which one relevant in the end they ended up in court but before then they end up in a court there was this split where some people let I me mean, they called for a reformation of the party and reformation is a very good word especially when it comes to political constitution so it's a very good word what we can look for look at on this platform is motive motive is very very essential in this regard so anyway some people then put forward say we want for reform whether uh, we not want selection again, we want election. Boku Boku thing happened, a um, confrontation erupt between organization and where they form within, when at the NRM. The NRM get for breakaway again and become a splintered faction because some go along with the main APC party. And then from that point in now, the other one they not agree. One critical name where we all learned the area for quite a while is none other but um, uh, Mr. Alfred P. Conte we actually bring legal, legal proceeding against the party. They take them to court, and this court proceeding has been going on for a while. And this is not the reason why we want for talk today. And um, not only the first session, this and the whole of the division and the third session, and uh, I thought this said other people because time is of an essence. But even as we speak today, there are matters still has to be resolved within a court. With which it, for can help for that we understand usa we come out, usa we day, and waiting at the way forward. It's a gentleman we don't appear on this platform, I believe, twice or thrice. And it's very okoron, okoron to legal issues, is from the legal background and get a legal mind. So now I make you happy for Brian County Day, where the issue we want to talk about is about legality. At this point in time, I want to introduce we guest formally, where it's none other but Mr. Ahmed Sisse Esquire. Mr. Sisse, welcome to the program, sir, the then and now. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. 
You are most welcome, sir. And once again, um, um, I welcome you. So I want to start with this um, um, lawyer CC. Um, normally, while they conduct me interviews, I can interchange titles and names. Sometimes they can sound so personal, except it's okay. So, all right, sir. So, what I want to say, no one, no one, found, I think, in the situation where one can discuss about your party, the court proceedings, the individuals involved, the myself, the country as a whole, the political direction as a whole. So, there is a lot. So I want to let you weigh in with your sentiment, if you like, your perception as to where are we and where we are heading regarding the present situation, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, uh, with regards to our party, you know, as we say, the former president, Alhaji uh, Tijan Kabaki, always say, in preferred sing and go to court than we go na bush. That is the route we are right now. Part of our members, they are grieved. Uh, as you rightly say, before it was the NRM, but as a result of an MOU and a, an out of court settlement, we had an understanding moving forward. And then we have the Alfred P. Conte case coming in. They all uh, challenge based premise on one thing, the democratic uh, principles, the democratic credentials of our party is what Nain them, them, the action center upon. So they have a commonality of interest in terms of actions. So yes, so we're within our court now. Let me just give you an update. So far, when we start the court proceedings, we know say yes, then action a premise on democratic principles, i.e. section 35, Section two of the Sierra Leone Constitution say every political party constitution for mirror national constitution. So now they then base a action. So far, we don't go to court, we don't ask for variation order while the case go on. We ask the court, say, well, sir, and T, this litigant in action based on say we not get proper democratic principle with constitution is not in tandem with national constitution. Give me chance, let we go adopt the constitution, then call and variation order. The court been granted. We went to McKinney, we conduct the uh, convention, emergency convention, then we adopt a new constitution. They will come back to the court. Now the courts now they say, okay, um, we have now to argue on the substantive argument that is waiting really then bring on an accord for because waiting the motion way the litigant Alfred P. Conte have been put forward now that uh, a whole lot of issues. So we just address the democratic tendencies of him. It, it talk about transparency of the party that we should furnish an audited account and then a whole lot of things. So we they can now argue on those stands because we don't go through most of the, the variation order. So now that level they we they, but in the process, the other way the courts give we, the litigant not be feel happy, say, but pa, you give them people their order, various order on the August, I mean the 18th, the 19th of August 2021. You give them an order for go hold an emergency convention, but the order is further guided by certain protocols, procedure with them for follow, i.e. they're supposed for hold the election of 132 constituencies. These 132 constituencies, they're not all, all the and for generate five delegates from each constituency. It, Alfred P. Conte come back to the court say, then do all but seven constituencies, they're not all the election at all. And then he further say, well, again, you say me then go discuss unresolved membership issue. He said they're not do am. He said, so before we proceed to this case, I want to let we address this issue first. To me, it is like contempt. So we had the contempt argument 
finally, they exonerate a, and he blamed two parties, A, Usman Fode and Sane, when are the second defendants by action. B, he blamed the, poli the APC party. So the courts look at Usman Fode and Sane exonerate them and then all the party liable. So these are just the base of where we are right now. So now we they move forward now for argue and then the courts go adjourn and make a ruling whether the executive of the APC A is legitimate or not when Alfred B. Conte in question, B, whether the constitution get issue again because we don't adopt a new constitution, even though by statutory process is not yet in force yet. And then B, whether the other issues we pray for my originating motion would see water. So that is the situation we are as a party. Brilliantly said, Mr. Sisi, and thank you for providing a background so that we find, we follow them, we view us there. This is us there. We understand them from that perspective. They believe is very brilliant. We get a lot of you just talk. I'm glad the way you develop that. Um, ask you for this time. The reason. Why the court number two, defendant number three, now the issue of contempt. And so we talk to the, um, um, the elect them, a lot of them who are going to be listening softly. Why are you done for we waiting at this content? We framework so that everybody here understands. Sorry, come again now. You hear me, sir? No, okay. come again. Sorry. Okay, you hear me now? Yeah, they hear you now, yes. Okay. Uh, first of all, one, thank you for the background where you also help for provide based on your sentiment, your perception, and your legal opinion on the matter. I really appreciate that. And I shall say those that are listening and those that will listen subsequently will come for appreciate. But since, as they say, we they speak to we constituents, we they speak to the electorates, I mean the country as a whole, and um, there's a lot of layman view. I'll be one for that. You also deal with the word content, because as per my understanding, the complainant in the case, the reason why it care defendant number two, defendant number three, now court again to Mr. Uh, Justice Adrian Fisher in court, now on the basis of content. So I'll be wanting you deal with that word, they contemplate you break and down for we to size so that everybody, the man way they na bush, the mommy way they na bush deep, deep inside, go understand. Okay, thank you. Uh, contempt in law, na we person get disobedience to the courts, get disregard in all respects the, the court in judge, in all respects they allege you. Remember say the courts, is a representative, the judge, the bench, we call him, is a representative of the crown. What do you mean by that? The judge now represent the president. Now I make you see, we all they bow down to the judge. You like now you party or you pick in. Today, today, they appoint her as judge. You get for address them accordingly because they represent his excellency, the president. So when the court give you order, especially pan criminal eh, 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 area, we we'll get two types of contempt. We we'll get punitive contempt. We we'll get remedial contempt. So when the court give you order, say, would they tell you would they that you owes, for instance, you never go near you owes, or hundred meters around you owes. You never go there. When you deny you go there, the court can hold you in contempt. You get what you call etiquette contempt as well. We in a court. You they talk, you phone ring na court, or you they do, you misbehave to the bench. Where the judge say, uh, cancel, he want you to term. You know, do I'm done etiquette contempt, like you know, honor the court etiquette. This time around, a punitive contempt, then go, he say, for punish the person, say, pa, then people there, if you allow them for go scot free, nobody no get for respect the court again. And if person no respect the judge, you know, go respect the president because now the president, I make now the president through the judicial legal uh, uh, council and services council, they 
they appoint the judge and parliament confirmer. So now like a representative of the president. So the court give order and then the the people them way you will not obey the order. Now you then call contemnor. That's not contempt. You will not obey the order. You not contemnor already. So now the whole idea of contempt. We call say do this. You know do am. Then then they only not disobedience to the court. Many thanks again, Mr. Um, um, CCA, for that. I mean, just one look, we break broke and down, and you've done just that. So let me begin drive into these issues um, um, gradually. So as per my understanding, and I stand to be corrected, don't know how much of this I'll be wrong on, but there were issues brought against basically two parties. When I say two parties, I mean, even as an individual and as an organization, A, one of or the second defendant, na, the Secretary General of the All People's Congress, a very powerful man occupying a very powerful position, na, a very powerful um, party, happens to be Ambassador Yansane. So the case of contempt was brought against him along with the party. But as we come to press now or at this point in the interview, what I want to let you do again for we, if you will, please, sir. Is for let you explain to me how Ambassador Yansane come into this picture in which the case of contempt was brought against him. And even as we speak, we understand, say, the judge, his, um, um, his highness or honor, whichever way they call him, has dropped those charges. If you can help explain unto we today. Today, we will look for teaching and healing, understanding and explanation, sir. Okay, well, um... The litigants, the plaintiff, when I are content. Now, when let me say now the applicants, because when you are plaintiff, we bring case in a court. But inside the case, you can debate back, say let like, like case inside case. You can do application for let some let something happen, so you don't become na, up the applicant automatically. So he apply for contempt. Okay. Now, Alfred P. Conte, as I say, the court give order. He give order on the 19th, he give two court order, but all geared towards the same. So the other way he give, he say, let the court, let the second defendant ensure, say elections are held in 132 constituencies. Let the second defendant pay 5 million costs to the plaintiff. Let the, 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 the 21 man, let there be a 21 man committee, a technical committee, we comprise of nine from the APC and one person appointed by the APC, we for chair this committee, that's in total 10 from the APC. He said, but this 10th person has to be a non executive member of the APC, an elderly person with immense experience. And then the rest six from, uh, uh, then the rest from uh, the, the, which you call big six, another faction of the party, the diaspora, so on and so forth. So Alfred P. Conte now comes say, in things say, the Secretary General of the party is liable because the court order them for ensure say, then for conduct elections, now 132 constituencies, and that is that was not done because they only conduct now all but seven constituencies where they not conduct. He said feel say the Secretary General for take liability. And secondly, he said the Secretary General appoints the Secretary General appoints the Honorable SBB Dumbuya for chair this commission, uh, this technical 21-man technical committee. Even though the court say the person where the chair not for be a member, an executive member of the APC. It says so this and other reason in field say the Secretary General for be singled out, it will be liable for contempt. That now in case for the Secretary General. In case for the second party, when are the APC, when are the third defendants, he said the APC. In the court ordered for let them go all elections now 132 constituency, the APC not one. The court ordered the APC for make them discuss unresolved membership issue. 
the court not do it. So now then, two parties here are the whole responsible. So now let's come to Ambassador Yansan. After we the court not hear he, the plaintiff in case, and then the court, the Honorable Justice Adrian Fisher come back and say, well, you see, the standard way we they expect by contempt, it's that of criminal proceedings. I should say a lot of people are they hear me no civil proceedings, people that will do corporate law, business management scholars, no waiting and call vicarious liability. Now the doctrine whereby you can be liable for the conduct of your employee. But in know they work in criminal matters. Criminal matters, you cannot be vicariously liable if waiting the order your employee in order to criminal liability, the burden it rest on the prosecution for proof, say you, not to other person, you know, not to wait in me, Bobo do or me staff do. Me personally, knowingly see the other, are able for do am. The other is clear and unambiguous, but I choose not for follow the other. And then the standard of proof for be beyond all reasonable doubt. That is the standard of proof we the courts they expect. And that body has to be discharged by the prosecution. So the court say, well, first of all, the form where the lawyer for Alfred P. Conte put together in paper, you know, attach the court ruling we want to rely on. But that's not more. That's not all. Then the court say, you cannot hold Ambassador Yansane liable for an order that he gave to an entire group of people, i.e. the 21-man committee, or for use the word ensure, it is not mandatory, it is not incumbent. The word ensure is kind of discretionary, it's participatory. You know, go one person liable for that. However, the side will use mandatory, where you say the Secretary General must, that is order number 12, whereby he order and for pay 5 million to the plaintiff. Indeed, Ambassador Yansane paid that money. So the judge said the other way is specified because the other court orders delve on which we call specificity. The other way it dealt with directly to answer. And if not be that other day it renege on, then one will argue, say the case of contempt will hold. So the court said for that reason, in office, say ambassador answer and liable. However, the third party winner, the APC. They are liable. Are you are you there? Are you there, sir? Yes, yes, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, yes. we, you're back. We will hear you again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So as I say, the third yeah. party, the APC. Their own liability, well, their own culpability, it comes, it stems from where, according to the judge, say, we not discuss the unresolved membership issues. We other way for resolve. Then two, he say, we as a party, no old election at 132 constituencies. He said, the reason why we give the court. We said there was a commotion, frustration. The process was frustrated. He said we should have approached the courts and asked for extension because given the timeline order way the judge been giving, the judge said, we not be for them come to the court and ask for extension, you didn't. So I consider that as a grave, a gross disregard for the court. And secondly, he said, we not say we not need police protection. Me before order, that is the judge before order, police for cover. So for that reason, it's finally 50 million Leon suspended. It, it, it provided we address these membership issues within 14 days. If not, we're going to be penalized, we're going to be fined 50 million and we will go ahead back and address the issue. It's not like an alternative that once we've paid the 50 million and then is it, that's it. We must address the membership, unresolved membership issue. That is the court order. Are you there? 
So I, I am. Are they? Are they you, sir? Okay. Okay. So, and, um, I thank you. I thank you again once more for that. And I want to say, you bring them up to an issue we are going to like for talk on, and we'll come to that again shortly. But all waiting, we don't try for establish. And as a legal mind, you will understand now the basis of the case. And in this case, the basis of this interview, how will they go forward? So we know all of this. Of course, many times people then will need a legal mind for explain what exactly the judge said, what he mean, how to go about them. This is where people like you become very, very important, sir. But here is the thing now. I want to ask you about your own personal legal opinion, your own legal opinion, and your personal mind. Because as you describe yourself, you are party operative. So before I begin going into the little bits, the technical bits, I want to ask you generally, what is your opinion about this whole exercise, this entire exercise? And well, lawyer, I lawyer, um, if I can ask you, sir, if you can put you, your gadget in a horizontal position, probably it will be equivalent to mine, and we will get a good, uh, not only adjustment, you turn out all together upside down, not in the camera, in the, yes. Okay, yes, that's correct, sir, fine. Many times should I put you this ever since. Okay. I apologize. Yeah, it's, 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 it's okay. Just that you need for adjust your headrest because your head cut, cut off. So a little bit down. Yes, yes, that's perfect, sir. Okay. Yes, that's okay. Yeah. Okay, well, actually, my own opinion on this one old case. I, I therefore, I mean, it doesn't, I, I therefore be very mindful because it's an ongoing case. I don't want to subjugate. But when you talk about um, waiting na the interpretation of the ruling, I would say it is a difficult one because in fact, we are lucky. We're lucky in the sense that as a party, because imagine, this is a process that we were ordered to execute. And now the court is now saying that in field C, there is the contempt because the procedure we will use for adopt the constitution, the order was flouted. Now, he left a room for question the validity of the document. In a strict legal sense, one will come up with a case that I want that document quashed. Because when the form or the due process is faulty, the end result is faulty. That's a simple principle in law. You understand? Yeah. Although one will argue the court can go back and say, well, the reasoning prevails. The reasoning of the order, the court order for 132 constitu constituency, the purposive meaning is representation. And one will perceive if the case goes to Supreme Court, this will be our argument. Somebody one challenge the constitution will say, well, the, the ratio of the court is representation. One will say the 132 constituencies we are represented because every secretary general from each constituency was present. But again, does that mean the order has been followed? No. The order when they do a contempt order, an open and closed case, they ask for the court for determine whether the order was followed verbatim. That's word for word. And the court will answer, you say, no, it wasn't followed word for word. And I knew this case will stick. The moment I saw the application, I know say this case will stick because the guy asked simple question for determination. And once the court, now the court in word, you want to let the court confirm whether the court in order, the judge in order was followed verbatim. And it wasn't. So we know the inevitable, I mean, how we get for end. So, but we're lucky the courts now say, okay, nobody raised issue. And thank God, Alfred P. Conte did not raise up an issue of challenging the validity of the document. Because otherwise, he would, if he for challenge, he would say, well, among the prayers, well, then if it's not, if the court can determine that the, the process was flouted, then let, let the document be quashed. The, cons the whole constitution would not spend time and money, but he not ask for our nine prayers, which was good, because very frequently no say, everyone was represented, albeit 35 
uh, people from seven constituencies we are disenfranchised. So we're lucky the court's not stray because the court on the frolic of its own has the right to represent general public interest, even if you did not pray for that. You understand? So we're lucky. Me, that's not my own personal opinion. Yeah. Say we're lucky the judge was a bit lenient with us for not caution, challenging the validity of this document. You know. Um, uh, that's um, not um, um, yeah, I, 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 need, I need for I need for ask you this way they talk about the challenging of the validity of a document. If Mr. Alfred Conte took the party to court, he wants a redress. He was aggrieved. Now he make a higher lawyer, he and others, and took the party to court. So if he did see an opportunity, he obviously would take advantage of that opportunity. But my understanding is he never did. And that was a blessing to the party because had he done by your measure, yeah. that would have gone against the party. Was that yeah. intentional? If that's correct, anyway, what did well, say? You see, I always they say, whatever you may say about anybody in our APC, uh, it must get that love for the party ingrained in them somewhere. It must get the love for the poor man. And you've seen, Every a lot of people then go convert Namakini from all regions and constituencies and districts. You anyhow you want transparency, you know go want because there is a overwhelming majority. I would say ninety eight point nine percent of people were represented. Ninety nine percent. So you go and take and say, okay, let us punish these people for not following the court in order word for word. But again. I am satisfied with the representation we go McKinney. So in fact, that reason they make you say, you know, anything we tell the lawyers not for challenge the validity of the, 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 the document if proven, if the due process is proven to be faulty. Uh, and that is the case. So uh, we're lucky we get away with that. But now the courts say- So, so at, this, at this time you just, you just speculate, Mr. Sisi, are you? No, no, no. I'm just saying we're done with that. The courts don't make a ruling with that. Um, it, we, we're moving forward because we don't jump on now. I know you say we they come back to them. Uh, we don't jump on because the Sylvia Blyden case had it, if the case been stick, had the court allowed Sylvia to be a second applicant in the case, he, she had 102 prayers. Among the prayers, he challenged the validity of the document, the constitution. Albeit he even bring in the 91 constitution. We had a constitution which was drafted in 1990, immediately after Saloon go back to multi-party election. But he no stand the test of time because immediately after that, the two, three years down the road, the APC party was overthrown. And when the party came back to power in 95, before the elections of 96, 95, the party came to power and draft another constitution where this time around, uh, nine people in the challenge to. The yeah, but Mr. Mr. Sisi, I'm going to have to stop you in mid flow there regarding what you just say. You just the say. Mm -hmm. So, and yeah. um, whatever petition to the court, 102 prayers, um, she called it. Okay, and that based on a constitution, we go beyond the 1991 constitution, which is accepted by the party. The idea about a constitution existing beyond was not known within the courts. In other words, it wasn't legal. Why would Justice Adrian Fisher accept something we not be legal within the jurisdiction? Why will he? No, no, no. You see, with us, the 95 constitution, you see, the courts just they follow in precedent, and the court cannot depart from the precedent set by a senior court and, and hierarchy according to the hierarchy of court. The Supreme Court had a similar case. The Supreme Court had the validity of 95 constitution compared to 91 constitution. We have the John Yambaso case in this day. We had a history of litigations in the APC. The famous uh, late lawyer Seri Kamal, blessed memory, and we have Osho Williams, we have Eddie Yeah, but when he came to the Constitution, uh, lawyer Ahmed, the judge, um, um, his honor, Adrian Fisher, ruled against that because no one had really litigated on the Constitution beyond the 1991 Constitution. Yes, 
Yeah, but that, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> but that was, yeah, that was, you're right. But in, in summary, a basic premise, he said, okay, you want 91 constitution. He said, but that will go against my dicta. I have already ruled that the, the party should go to McKinney and I, I, the, the party deposed a draft constitution, which I read, that is the judge saying, in therein, there are all democratic principles that I really offends the litigants. We are all embedded in this constitution. He said, then this court ordered that this constitution be adopted. He said, if I entertain any alternative, it will go against my dicta. So that was what, that was the court in position. Okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we will talk to lawyer Ahmed Sisi. Um, okay. 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 Especially when I lift the in person. So we don't pass that stage here. We now have a 95 condition. But waiting, a lot of people will ask me, where would that leave the case of Alfred P. Conte? Because members say a premise in, 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 in litigation, in action on the 95 constitution, say it is unconstitutional, it is. Now, it left five days by Monday, albeit if all things remain equal, all petitions to the new constitution remain the same. In five, 10 days time, we will get yourself a new constitution. So Usai go, that will leave the case of Alfred P. Conte moving forward. Yeah, okay, exactly. But the idea is, and I think at the tribe will drive into now, of course, you got legal mind and you are very brilliant. I've listened to your audios and videos. So, so some of them me pointing there to say do the express about the call, etc. So, on this program, you got after all you need something where so we just get. so again once again um 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 mr uh cc i right? they ask you a, on this basis of alfred content on they take the party to court where do you draw the line now they talk about you personally where do you draw the line because this is not the first time not the second time not the third time is it personal until it feels really satisfied before then it can say okay a huge party a huge institution as the apc cannot only what is the legal that is wrong you see, finally, I mean, personally, I had my take on this whole. That's exactly um, what I'm driving to, sir. Thank you very much. Exactly. Personally, I have my take. Now, listen, when this whole issue of litigation started, but even with the NRM, we had a meeting and I told my colleague lawyers, I said, listen, this is my position. I'm going to make it clear. I say, we, let us don't mediate. Mediation is not an option. Let us go straight to the courts and let the courts determine because the whole uh, uh, action premise on the condition and the legality of the executive. Now, it, that the same way NRM bring their case, the executive had barely one year, six months. Till we did pan down the language, the executive left eight months. Before Alfred P. Conte bring in case, in fact, the executive has have parole. The term done done. So I said, let me go to court. When the court determines, say, okay, you're right, this constitution is not good. Two, the executive is illegal. Then we don't put a stop to every other litigant. Now, we did not. So then, thereafter, Alfred P. Conte emerge again. Thereafter, the Sylvia Blyden emerge. Thereafter, uh, 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 Boomne and others emerge. Do you understand? So it's a floodgate. So maybe once later we go straight. In fact, if uh, uh, not before, even challenge the legitimacy of the NRA. Because when do they talk about membership? It's very important to note that people they say, well, the membership issue, not to just some Sumana issue, the NRM uh, issue back day. They said the membership, APC be not saying that not to the member. Yes, APC challenge the membership, but the NRM membership. It's not an issue anymore with the APC. The NRM, the court justice commander, the honorable justice com commander don't rule out clearly say by then conduct,
by all the courts can easily infer, draw an inference, say, NRM and, mem and members of the APC. So moving forward. So we'll not get no issue again, but to whosoever, whether they are members or not. Okay. So you ask me personally, there we 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 we're going to see a plethora of litigations until the courts determine, say, listen, this executive, illegal or illegal, you know, illegal. But the executive already, the mandate's not done. You understand? They don't pass over one year, uh, going to one year, four months since where the mandate expire, the NAC, the NAC membership. So even if the courts say now, well, then they're, they're illegal, <laughs> then time don't done. If not to this action, like we don't get a convention, we don't get a new executive. Okay. You understand? Not like the executive is insisting to stay there as an executive. They like we don't get an election, but we get the COVID-19 when I'm an impediment, we frustrate we a little bit. Then from the COVID-19 now we're for all we own convention. In fact, there was a time when they, they, we don't serve notice for we convention. We don't give notice all over the place when we don't pull timetable and then we can't get this action. So to me, I just hope say, the adoption of a new constitution will see the demise of all these litigations and actions, okay. counter action. Okay, lawyer, many, again, many thanks for that. But to put it straight, sir, these actions that are playing out in the courts of Sierra Leone are as a consequence of people like you. Okay, mm -hmm. it's as a consequence mm -hmm. of people like you and Mr. Alfred P. Conte and others. And I'm not uh, the issues are not legitimate. But what you do just now and the case where you lay, it's like um, it sounds like um, you look for fair play, but at the same time, you say the delay is caused by all these issues the way they take place inside the court. Are you using this as an advantage, this critical time, the help others, you know, yeah. where they bring? You, you, you want to say something in mid sentence, uh, you, I mean, you can butt in. No, 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 no. Listen, as a lawyer, I should not discourage access to justice. I should encourage people to seek redress in the court of law. I at agree. I agree. I agree, sir. But you can. But even as, use a that party to, to, as a party as a party operative, I see I'm as I see I'm as I see I'm as a waste of time because if you want the party to come up with a document. Yes, one will say when this guy started, a lot of people were appeased. They were not happy. Hey, this person can't pull APC. Ah, they were, they know, they come for can't pull the NRM. But today, we're enjoying democracy. I must say this because of all these actions, because of these litigants, the party is in the verge of democracy. The party don't curtail a whole lot of uh, excesses. We you've been saying and uh, we've been doing at the party. So now let us move forward. If you've achieved that far, it's a it's a, a colossal feat. For there, the action of the NRM and Peter Conte produce a document such as this 2021 draft constitution should be a colossal feat. And to me, that should be the trophy. To me. Once we appear in court, we argue the substantive argument. All I think Alfred P. Conte should, can do now and ask the court for further direction to ensure that the next convention where they come will get for be free and fair and for help, say, the 21 man committee will conduct the elections now, 100, we supervise the elections of 132 constituencies, be given an interim role as well regardless of how they, the court constitutes them, or even though at the convention at McKinney, we come up with a resolution, say, well, there should be an interim 25-man committee way for conduct the next convention, because now the other facts get for come out, if fairness will prevail, okay? So that is what I think. Instead of waiting for making them declare this, this executive Ill, Ill, uh, uh, Ill, illegitimate, so I feel say we for move forward from now because we, the people of Sierra Leone, they're looking forward for vibrant and effective opposition. Okay, we go come, we go come to that. We go come to that shortly, lawyer. You made you made several points here, and I want to address them. But Fambul, and I just remind you now, um, today the fifth of December is a Sunday, and we they talk to um, a brilliant brother. I've been on platform 
through times. Or oh, times are changing. You know, the dynamics are just there for every one of us to see all of the even as we speak now. This move and about um Esquire and he's making some points here on the way forward regarding the quagmire or legal limbo, if you will, that the all people's congress sells in. Um, uh, uh, um Ahmed, I want to bring this to you, sir. You, you know, um in it sounds like a smoke screen, if you if you will like, and there's a conflict here or an irony. Um, either all three of them are equally descriptive of what I want to say, but one of them could be very well applicable. In other words, the conflict what they talk about, you they use your legal background for make the legal argument, which is rightfully so, but when it becomes necessary, you use the same legal you, you know, yeah, um, disposition for back away on things the way you can weigh in, but your legal uh, background will not allow you for make them sentiment. And I say this, even though you're right, but within the eyes of the public, um, sir, you already declare yourself as um, a senior stakeholder within the party. So you they choose in between or interplay at some point when you do act like a lawyer and at other points when you do act like a party operative, which is which? Well, you see, I'm, I'm glad you're a very smart host, trust me. Now, let me tell you me, 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 me predicament here. A lawyer's duty is to the courts. You owe duty to the courts, not to, to the party. Okay? Yeah. So when you did talk, you did be very careful when a matter is in court, how you did navigate yourself. I can, I'm not, first of all, what's the judge don't give? I cannot give an opinion any longer because you don't give judgment. I have to be grateful to the bench. And then besides, we as an operative back, I need for same in mind as a normal citizen and as a party operative within really. So you, you're right. I try to navigate myself through, but I'm, I'm a very frank and uh, open person when it comes to my own party. Now, if I they see injustice, even from the court, I don't mind for Siam, I don't care what it may say. But uh, this time I have to say the court is being lenient with us because until I talk earlier, I know they blame the court in any foul play or any so far. If anything, now we the party for put ourselves together as a political party, and nobody can go blameless on this one. Even the Alfred B. Conte, even the party executive right now cannot go blameless for the stalemate of this party right now. We've been so much worse. We will not be for dinner at this party had we have um, um, uh, uh, um, an amicable resolution. We will forget a magnanimous approach with we, but we prefer egos. Both parties from, I have to be from, frank, pardon, from my side, I mean, from our side as the party executive within now, and from the Alfred P. Conte temper flyer. There is some amount of personal vendetta directed to some people. There's, I mean, with all this, um, um, uh, um, bringing a punitive contempt to colleagues, you mean you want them behind bars? You know, to me, that's a bit harsh. If it's a remedial contempt, we say, I don't spend so, so, so money, you order them for me, then give me remedy. And you sought relief. One of the relief you sorted in this action is that the PPRC to, for take over the affairs of the APC. To me, that, that's, that's a blow to me. You cannot handle, I mean, I have to say the PPRC, Unlike any other government, we can go try to get hold of the PPRC, put an operative now the PPRC way, subservient to the government of the day. That is what is happening now. The, the chairman, the commissioner, and the PPRC is kind of in pendulum, slightly tilts towards the government of the day. How now you go make an action to, against your party, and then you compel the court, you ask the court for hand over the party to PPRC, let them run out for you. You're literally putting your political party on a platter and give it to your Absolutely. opponent. Absolutely. You understand? Absolutely. So that's personally why I can't hide, I have to say. Okay. Um, I think on that basis, you know, you're just some, um on the basis of reason, you are absolutely you are absolutely right. Because if that's what you call you're calling for, then people will definitely be asking, you know, yeah, what's the motive? It then becomes what's yeah. the motive? And like you say, personal vendetta begin for sound very much as such. 
As you say, you want to communicate, so I don't pull you off camera so you can do what you want for do in the meantime. Yeah. And Fambola, yeah, just yeah. for a reminder now, we are talking to um, um, a very legal mind, a brother who's been on the platform a few times. Um, very clever, very clever man. And when it comes to legal issues, we can always call on for can help with for understand a few things. I got a few technical questions for us, Cam, you know, yeah, before we come to the end of this program. Very, very interesting and important. But I'll just give you a taste of what is to come this week. On Tuesday, we get an, um, um, a segment on the First Lady, a sensationally tied to Lamos for one una, una we get weak minds or weak hearts so that you not just um, um, collapse or whatever when you see them. But the gloves are off. There is a civic responsibility on we part and what we believe in this platform is that the truth is indisputable. So that's what we argue, that's what we make here. And even as we speak tonight, now the truth now will be try for on earth as we speak to another man from the other side of the world where we are in. So the first lady will talk about them um, and the gloves are off. So the title, I can paraphrase them for Una, the dancing queen and how it <laughs> challenged a man or an embarrassment for the president, something around that. Um, is this the beginning of the end Una, watch for that. It's gonna be on Tuesday, it's gonna be interesting and it's based on analysis. Just like we would only do video, physical, print, and you name it. That's what we're going to be doing. We also get the come up. Um, I believe it's Monday tomorrow. I will have to check the diary, but we'll keep our eyes open. It's on the former president, Anes by Koroma. We ask, why does he continue to soldier on? To soldier on means for carry on. Why will he promise, we say, after the last elections where he lost to um, the SLPP stroke power power, why is he still very prominent and active in the political circle? But again, like Fambula, I promise you, what will do now? We sort of provide analysis based on references, based on the truth, based on speaking to, speaking about, looking at the real issues, the core of the matter. So Anas Koma will go analyze and why he still continue for soldier on. But the reality of the matter is tonight, we will talk to none other but um, Ahmed Sisse, Esquire, and they try for help with or understand the court case against APC. And we get a few questions before we end um, this um, um, case. But um, we also the advertise now this platform. So Fambulem, we ask you now, come on. We need for digitize. This is now the 21st century. We need for act like a global village, just like the world is. You may not have a personal affiliation with me and you don't have to advertise on my platform, but I will advise you, say, let me take this to another level, just like the people that we learn from. Una advertise with people that we sabi. let the money go round. If I go buy you cassada leaf for 50p, take 1p or 10p and also put them per advert. In other words, not so the money they go round. Don't be selfish. So the only advert we get for today now we just out for play, and um, here is it. It shock you. It shock you. It shock you. It shock you. Wow, I like the setup and decor. Quite impressive. <laughs> You've not seen anything yet. Wait until you taste it. I can't wait. In a sense. Money make him a that. Oh. <laughs> I am sharper than knife, I am sharper than nail Them are small like ant, I am bigger than whale Where have I gone and lift you up? Nobody, nobody will make you drop Nobody will make you um, In Brixton, we do more of um, African food and seafood as well um, in Peckham, we do more of African food. A reception or function of any type, this is the place to do. Just do your booking on time and we can do catering for you. So, Pambulema, you read the last message there. This is the place to be. I personally endorse that message. And I can say I'm all the time when I advertise the program because I am almost always there at this joint. The food is good. The atmosphere is good. The company is good. And I promise you, if you come from there, you didn't get what, what I tell you so, put the charges on me. I wouldn't mind paying. And I mean them, obviously. So visit Mingus Bar and Restaurant. And even in the new year, we will come with the advert again. The ownership they establish or they try to organize 
something like um, um, a hen night or lover's night or something for the new year. The brother is very, very innovative. So he's always coming up with things. There are others that will wait for the video. And if you get you wedding, you get your birthday. We haven't started doing obituaries as yet. Please don't hesitate to advertise with us. It's not about sentiment and emotion. Maybe me and you not belong at the same party. Don't look at it from that prison because that's not what I'm doing here. It's Sierra Leone first. Support a Sierra Leonean business. However, today we they talk to we brother, we friend, we colleague, Ahmed Sisi Esquire about many issues. But as you say, welcome back to the second segment of this program. And you mentioned many things we for bringing the program to an end, I just get for reach out to you and ask these questions. A, we talk about the issue of membership and the issue of membership is quite a thorny issue, very complex that George Adrian Fisher himself cannot really handle. I shall say you will agree with me on that, except the party where you belong to, not able for handle that issue day, then of course you get for come back to George Fisher for make that decision day on our own party and that shows signs of irresponsibility and i shall say you know one for let that be the case so on that basis day the judge like you rightfully say don't put down a 50 million leons and um, fine and give una a timeline i believe 14 days or two weeks whichever two weeks for let una come back and say well we don't resolve this party issue this is complex this is technical how would they decide for go about that without having to come back to George Adrian Fisher as a responsible party or make a decision for UNA regarding una, una your membership? Well, um, the contempt is live and substantial. We no get alternative. Like we, we say, you know what, let's just pay 50 million after this and that will be it. Yeah. It's not like that. We have to address membership issue. And the judge said that the outcome is irrelevant to her. You know, the first we power party for bringing George Bush as a member or Obama as a new member. But however, we have issues that we are unresolved. You see, unresolved in this sense, there were issues that we've started that we haven't finished. There are membership issues that we've started, i.e., imagine the Samsumana issue, whereby NAC don't meet, NAC don't decide, say, we're going to bring Samsumana, but he has to resign from his party. He resigned, and then NAC meets unanimously. They give, they give him an on the unconditional return, subject to the due process. They're not there are any condition. They say we now take and say you don't come at the party. Look, you letter, and there it was expressly stated. They say what pass NAC, the National Delegates Conference, that they would go return because that is part of the due process stipulated in the ninety-five Constitution. So that's one issue of membership. Another issue of membership. We get Boku people that will be left, we go NGC. These people want to come back, but then no one can throw the line because the constitution say if the, there is a condition, some in condition in letter is unconditional. But for some members, them we don't even go take symbol na NGC who and come back. They say go want a blanket amnesty. Say, okay, you can come to the party, but you don't have to join the queue any longer. Just come back with we'll a blanket amnesty. We'll not start from Musa we'll and finish. As I said earlier, the NRM issue has not, will not get no issue again. And I will quote the exact page, the ruling of Justice Commander, where he, he put and clearly say the NRM are members of the APC. So that, and once courts don't rule, say this is it. We'll not get no reason for discuss it. And we had 21 days to appeal, we didn't. And so the court in ruling states. Then we get a membership issue with regards to um, yeah, the one that we desert we, they will get two people and we they expel one of one or two of them are now diseased. But uh, we can do them back for restore respect to in families. Okay, we don't receive the suspension like uh, the late Kainde Bangura, Mami Kainde Bangura, may soon rest in peace. We can do them back. Say, okay, we don't receive that 
suspension will be making, restore and back now the party. So all these membership issues, the one that we don't go NGC, other political parties and all other things, okay? These are all issues that we need. Now, did any of the litigants ask the court about membership? No. But the court get the right on the frolic of its own for pursue general interest and, poli and public policies, for preserve public policy, legislation, on, on, on and be, general on, on behalf of the, On behalf of the party, even though it complained from no, the party. on behalf of the people. The no, on behalf of the people. The party is, if we get a national compliance mode, not to just party, which we not feel for do as a party, no. So the court for no say, if anything we not want to do, because section 30, the third chapter of the constitution give the right to vote and to be voted for, then guarantee you this right. So anywhere you go, this right must be preserved. Then give the right not to be disenfranchised, except if you fall under 76 of the constitution, that is the, the, the conditions which you do not qualify to be voted for. You know, Chris, you know, great crime, you know, do this, you know, this, you know, and you qualify as a member of parliament. So it is how we go. The court get right for make sure say any like you go to Mickey Mouse party, these rights are preserved. So when the court say discuss membership issue, they don't want people to be let them rights not be eroded under the CLU 91 constitution because political parties conduct must mirror national constitutions. So the court but, in but your bearing, bearing in mind, sir. Sorry, you go continue on your flow. But bear in mind, we are waiting friendly from within the party, bring to the court regarding um, membership. That's what the court is dealing with. It's not like the court on its own decided you know, to own you people saying you have to deal with this issue. They, they may know, but in this case, they didn't know until you went to them regarding the issue no, no. of membership. The court knew, the court knew, the courts. You see, you even in the first war, and I practice in England, when the court gets case of general interest, they, they get consultancy, they call the police. They, I mean, they pursue general interest. Now, the courts knew Emma, NRM, they were not party to this action, to Alfred Peter Conte action. But when they made their ruling, they bring NRM inside, say, they say, we have to take part for monitor these elections because they knew what is happening out there. They no say the big six, they were not part of this action. But now one of the factions they were there inside the dispute with them are capable of creating some inconveniences for the party. Then bring them in. The new membership issues we are looming. So they bring them in. In other words, for help we now, except if we now help we say, for help we put a rest to all we was and get one footing. Okay. Okay. Um, um... This, this is interesting, but on the issue of membership lawyer, um, um, Ahmed, here is the thing. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's all centered around a heavyweight, which happens for be Samsumana. And I want for that we talk about that a little bit because you mentioned him. And of course, I was going to mention him because the issue of membership is hierarchical. It's not like they don't get people away suffer as a consequence of being expelled from the party. But because you're not a big person, you're not a big man within the party, it now then become an issue, especially inside this political calendar. Mr. Samsumana or Dr. Samsumana, Alaji Samsumana, is now a fixture inside a particular calendar day and waiting an imposition or in situation regarding membership. This is the thorny issue among the issues that's been deliberated now in the courts of um, um, Sierra Leone. So my question to you is interesting. You mentioned in him in passing and then went on for name in abstract, many others. The only name way you cite as to people who have been disenfranchised in terms of party membership. Now somebody with disease, kind of Bangura took notes by the way, if you will permit me. The others, now mere speculation because we are supposed to say it did happen. Many people were um, um, exempted from the process, dismissed or whatever, taken out of membership. But here is the thing that I want to bring to you. It sounds much more like a question, but there's a statement within the question, sir. The party in policy 
What does it say regarding membership, um, lawyer MCC? What does it really say regarding membership? In other words, with the Sam Sumana case, I think I think I come, sir. Now something I try to develop. With the yeah. Sam Sumana case, the NAC, because you mentioned that, the NAC, the National Advisory Council, approve mm -hmm. of a membership. But within the constitution of the party, there is something in there within we mention about convention and national delegates. In other words, for approve waiting if that uh, uh, appointment they get for go forward, which you are still awaiting. So can you distinguish between Sam Sumana in bringing back into the party by NAC, to which we don't see letters they circulate, some circular, and Uda actually get for approve of a membership or disprove of a membership. What does the party constitution say, 1995? Okay, the 95 constitution says that if, I mean, generally for membership, if yeah. you if if you you leave the party, if you leave the party and intend for comeback, you're coming in as a fresh member. If you leave the party, note the word leave, yep. in your volition. Yep. But now, if you contest against a candidate with the party puts in a given elections, then go construe, say, your membership don't expire, you know, to member again or support yep. any other candidates. Okay. If you want to come back, if you apply fresh, now, Sam Sumana, in case we consider that as he did not live in his own volition. When you say we, who is the we? Because the party oh, is no, well, the now. law. The law consider that, say. Oh, the law. I mean, so in this case, case, you align yourself because with the law. The law says if you leave. Okay. Now, when the law says if you leave. So if you don't leave, then the you, you know, we we'll consider that as saying that you left. So okay. when after the party, you know, Sam went to ECOWAS court and sought relief. Yeah. He was uh, he was successful in his claim, but we know not you that. The party self gets in own explanation, but we throw it all in the interest of, you know, we're in a Kumra party. We meet together, we unite, we talk, they shake hands. We say, okay, come, blanket amnesty. It's a blanket amnesty, due process. It's like you naturalize in England as a citizen. Not to ask you naturalize and give you your passport at the hall. I mean, they will tell you now, say, there is a due process to acquire your passport. So same way back. We participate yeah. once and don't grant you this. The due process now that national delegates, go, because the national delegates uh, conference, the NDC of the party gets the, now the highest body of the party. So they get the rights in some cases for reverse, you understand? A yeah. decision made by NAC. Yeah. So, but in this case, even though we had precedent whereby people were expelled before and came back to the party without due process, Johnny Ambasso was just one of them. He was expelled. Ablai Okonte at some point, uh, 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 Eddie Touré at some point, they just came back and packed them back. They said, <laughs> they say, I don't come back. But this time around, they say, okay, Sam Sumana, you are going to, we, we don't accept you unconditionally. But in this time, this time around, we will let you go through the due process, i.e., go through NAC and then let NAC, you know, let, 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 let people in camera. But members say, what the other people they ask me now that there is, it, 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 there is a provision at the Constitution, APC Constitution, which says NAC, that is section six of we APC 95 Constitution, NAC get the power for transform themselves into an NDC in case of emergency. They get the power for transform themselves into an NDC, no doubt they can make a decision of an NDC. That is the power where then they always evoke when they want to extend their term because they cannot extend their term except the national delegates conference, a convention. But in this case, when their term don't last year, NAC men then gather, they make a decision. Say, okay, let us assume the role of an NDC because there is an emergency COVID-19 day. We cannot 
converge. So they, uh, if, if they use that particular capacity, then you have a problem. Do you have a problem? Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Cc? No, no, because I'm not telling you what the law says and let okay. common sense prevail. So okay. one will argue that why didn't they assume that position to bring in some manner? Yeah, but yeah, that's not the law. Please. That's not, Mr. Cissé, I will expect you to know from what you've just explained, that is not uh -huh. the law. That was a privilege and Kuku Jumuku, we were there inside. No, 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 it is the you. law. No, 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 it is the law. It is the law. Section 6, subsection 9, subsection 10 of the APC 95 constitution says, NAC can transform themselves into a national delegate conference, NDC to make decision. So if your uh, uh, return is incumbent on an NDC to convene, and NAC has the power to transform themselves to NDC, in the case of emergency, why didn't they trans assume that role and usher you in? Do you understand? That's exactly, not cool, and that's cool. exactly, and that's exactly what I'm ah, pointing out. Because it looks like they, so it that is, because it looked like, say, a discretional lawyer, Ahmed. It looked like, say, a discretional. They can decide no, no, no. for transforming themselves there is a qualifying. It is not discretional. There is a qualifying situation there. In case of emergency. OK. And the sum of emergency happened, such as what we've seen in the COVID. But that was the period yeah, 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 yeah. in, stamp, in, in this sum case. Humanal. Yeah. OK. Go ahead, sir. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, that was the period where they actually give Sam Shumana the letter. So some people then they ask, okay, wait a minute. If 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 this if equity must prevail, why they not assume the role and just done away with this man? Because me personally, I feel say Sam Shumana issue is a distraction to our party. Me personally, it, it cannot, it, it will not automatically be the flag bearer. He would not automatically be the flag bearer or clean the flag bearer. Yeah, but, but Mr. if Cissé, we Mr. put Cissé. them to rest, we're done with that. Yeah, but Mr. Cissé, move... here is the thing. You seem you seem for you know yeah for gloss over them and simplify them. And this is not my business anyway, but I just speculate. Just like you say, he's not automatically going to be the flag bearer. But Mr. Samsumana definitely has a motive. Any motive before he left in party, we know that. He, 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 then again, the, the clearance say, now, because he they go be flag bearer on the other side, that's why he's come over to the party because in chances, and even in the resignation letter, he said it there, that for go pursue an opportunity that way greater than the other side than USA he belong. So he's trans transforming to that party. So now you agree with me, say he's not going to be automatic flag bearer. He has to contend No, no, for I that, agree, right? sir. Wait till I not agree. <laughs> that's my yeah, point. Yeah, lawyer, lawyer Ahmed. I agree mm -hmm. with what you say, which I not agree with, because what you're doing is like you implying, say, if it's not going to be an automatic flag bearer, what's all the force about? Well, to me, from where I see and so, and I stand to be corrected, is give the person a foothold on the inside and it become more problematic for you because there is an underlying motive. Will you agree with that, sir? Well, it is not a legal motive. Elections, now, for everybody competes in the spirit of democracy. That's why we're in court today. Everybody, once you qualify under 76 of we see a new national constitution, you're eligible to vote and to be voted for. Now, you're right. If me driver right now win a party member, say he won't be flag bearer and APC and he qualify, would that not mean for stopper? No, no, you can't yeah. stop him. You can't stop him, but it will not go down well with you, especially so if you have an intention. Who then is your driver? We can put up in the talk, way or well, challenge you even about, though it get it right. Well, let's don't talk about the abnormal. Let's talk about the norms. So it's let's talk about the norms then. The norms now, anybody who can at the party, once you don't get an okay, it basically, you know, this is how we breed this is how we breed lazy politicians because we they shield people then for them and then sit down at the armchair with a block this block and that block this forum let it emerge instead we allow and let it compete freely bring everybody it competes let it strike we had 21 or 22 candidates in 2017 where they select from if now under this scenario this 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 new constitution to so god and this amigo step over to mr koma when i'm becoming flag bearer overnight sell me manifesto try for bring him on board bigger let mr ego meet sam jumana me man 
go be me vice president or be me go 2028 let me go this time around let politicians do the job let we not allow them for do the, with the, let we not do their job for them they're taking a national job if we not allow them for compete healthy if we not allow them for meet for compromise how they go compromise with parliament now they happen to this so we get a government where they frown on parliament we get a government where they force in censors now with growth we say they lay on a parliament, except then police go out slight up into money and beat members of parliament. That is their idea of laying a document in parliament. Had they used to work in, in magnanimity with the opposition, let me forget this. So let we start on our party, allow the candidates and for tolerate each other. That's my point. Okay, um, um, I, I like that. I really, really do. Sometimes even the in the case, and okay, all this, Mr. Mr. To say, if I, if if you don't if you don't mind, um, the party where you are a senior operative, sir, is on the defense because of them things they are, and it not mean say you're not right or you're not right for take the position where you take. But here is the critical thing: as much as your party stand for be in defense. Because other people and they are the offense, that's why you are on the defense. They cannot make any changes that they want for do. We go enable them for gain power because as they look at the power dynamics now and the time frame, the time frame. So people like you and others like Alfred P. Conte appear, and I'm saying this uh, if you listen to me and I'm saying it respectfully, appear much more like a distraction. In other words, Instead of closing ranks for, first of all, get the bigger price, which is the party returning to power, you are there having a tussle, a wrangle among yourselves on issues where very important, but it's a complete distraction and play to the advantage of the others. What say you, sir? Well, I agree. Later, earlier on, I told you that nobody can go blameless. Us as an executive, we as a people, the party, thought defendants, our leadership, and the litigants, nobody can go blameless because we know aware of the time. I saw one uh, video the other time where in two gazelle and they fight, bees they fight each other and a lie on the approach. <laughs> it just fit them together. That's a good one. <laughs> so this is a clear scenario. So yeah. yes, I concede. We know they try for um um look at the bigger picture we busy each other the end and and you cannot unseat an incumbent government we get a very very not so good record in human human rights in government uh, uh, institutions we know they strictly adhere to the doctrine of separation of power where every democratic uh, trajectories of these people they are shaky and if we say go and sit them overnight we did it in 2007. We had issued until the 11th hour, six months to the elections. Now we will get peace, final peace. But thank God at that time, changes be eminent. We were able, <laughs> but in, remember that 10 day, we know they fight an incumbent president. There was an incumbent party, but not an incumbent president. But this time around, they fight an incumbent president. And then look at what is happening in all the elections. The elections were like almost robbery. And then we need to sit by this time, look at the systems. When I'm in the system, the police, we get for play a big role. The European Union don't come in, wrote a damning report about police, how partisan are they? How overly, overly subservient are they to the government of the day? They wrote a piece on the NEC, National Electoral Commission, how yeah. partisan they are. So we as a party, we get a big job ahead. In other words, the international community need for EPWI and try for neutralize the institution there. They don't go just come meet me and say, hey, well, we don't write this report to anyone heaven for them. Us, no. say heaven helps those who help themselves. So the international community is willing to help. And we've seen signs of the help, like the 29 yeah. points given by the um, um, EU. But we need yeah. to help ourselves for others Thank from you. the outside for come for help we. What are we doing, sir? Well, it, that is all I'm saying. We as a party, we'll get there. I'm not losing faith on my party because you see, we they work very hard and I'm sure we, before the end of the year, we will get a solution. 
we will come back, but I just hope it is timely enough for now we able to put. But that's the together. point. Instead of you, instead of you ex, uh, expressing then kind of sentiment in the speculative wise, I hope mm -hmm. the idea is there is something definitively that you can do. Like for example, oh, you can sit on at this at this platform mm -hmm. today and Mr. express. Kuma, we have three departments, and I'm sitting here. We have three departments in the APC. Yes. Yeah. We get the we get the litigation department. We believe say, in a court action will finish this. We we'll get the mediation department. We believe say, for mediate. They will get the mami cost department. We feel say, in a mami cost <laughs> they don't. Do. And all the three departments here, you dare not tell one person say you una left. Let we take over. So it depends which area you fall. And you ask me personally, and I'm on public television. I'm going to tell you, I'm I'm I deal with the mediation department. Because I believe, say, every conflict so far be resolved, don't resolve through mediation. Yep. You understand? Yep. Was only they give you a trump card position of strength for negotiate, for mediate. You understand? But I believe, say, mediation for let we sit down as a family and done this thing in time. Nine go just get for done this. Road. Because imagine when the court can just know. If me grab back, you should go file another motion or bring in another case against other posts, we'll not go get a uh, way forward. But we should all should see the bigger picture. We get a new constitution, inclusive, democratic. It bring in a lot of people on board. It, it, we get a gender affirmative action embedded in that uh, section 77 of the draft constitution. We give we women the more powers this time around, and we even make them compulsory for political appointment, 30% minimum for women. You understand? So yeah. it's a beautiful document, the draft constitution. So if this draft constitution come into effect, we don't, it's a part finding. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a colossal fit for, for, for both parties. So let me look at that. So, but I, I know they see Sidoya and tell you say, we know will come because honestly, if APC, me particular, I believe say 2023 is ours to lose because we have the numerical strength. And these people will not dare just go out there and wishy washy a census and delimit the country, bring in new constitution, think say will take it lying down. You understand? So there's so much going on what we need for focus on. So, yes. We will put our house together very soon before the end of the year. And the courts don't promise, we say, before the end of the year. The Honorable Justice Adrian Fisher promised before the end of the year, he go adjourn for a ruling. We will get at least latest first week January, we will get a ruling. And then he give me the order where we go put a timetable for all we convention. And then yeah, once well, the convention. Well, 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 lawyer, lawyers, lawyers, you see, I mean, that's um a lot of pessimism you know here now you just um, um express no 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 i'm telling you what the court said it's it's not i'm not pessimistic no no it's I'm not only about who are you for certainty, no? no for certainty honestly me believe say once we mediate if mediation fails the certain certain route now the court the court don't tell me say i go end this thing by february if the man say the executive is elected the worst case scenario you go say the executive not legitimate when I get a new interim, it's fine. Any kind of way we point, get the point what we want to make lawyers to say is in the end, if it goes that way to what you see, and I make a call on a lot of um, um, pessimism, then the court have to decide for you. And remember, say time is of an essence and you not know, in your favor, because then it get for drag on. And if you get for speculate again as to waiting the court representative, you say the court not independent, then therefore there is a massive problem on your side until you guys resolve your issue in-house, within the house, and then go present one case before the judge. But if the judge will have to make the decision for you, then you're on the wrong side of history, Mr. Sisi. Would you agree with that, I will, sir? I will, not, I will not say we're on the wrong side of history. We're certain. You cannot leave um, certainty for uncertainty. So the certainty here is the court. Uncertainty will be in and out of mediation. Trust me, the, 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 the MOU through a uh, way we generate from by me through mediation by, uh, with the NRM, 
a subject to rigorous negotiations and counter mediations and sentiment flown. A lot of things happen, but in the end we get there, okay? So while we did pursue that angle day, let us let not forget back, see, the courts gave, we we'll, we'll not go just other uh, discontinuance, right, a writ of discontinuance to uh, the court, not to recap case going to court. Now, Alfred P. Conte. Yeah, but that's what, that, what, what, you, what you have to say, what you have to say, what you have to say, lawyers, you say, is mm -hmm. you've got a stake there. You always describe yourself as a senior APC operative, and I know, say, you did talk to many others, okay? Mm -hmm. So, in behalf of the party, whether now Alfred P. Conte, Dr. Sylvia Blind and Care Court, uh, case going to court, Somebody can pick up the phone and we can mediate among ourselves and get one word and say we it's either withdraw the case or this is our position. Until you do that, your party is in trouble and returning no, to no, power. I, I agree. I told you earlier. I gave you the analogy of the three vigilantes at the party. The court is it. on. Yeah. At meeting at the mediation, then you get the mamikos. We don't neutralize the mamikos department slowly. Okay. Right, right. Now the mediation department is there behind the scene. Okay. But the certain one now where the courts come back to you and say, because the man in case we can go to court, if they say you don't win your case and then get a relief for a sort, but let the executive resign. But the executive could say, Well, my lord, even if you ask us to resign already, the uh, 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 executive is already functus. You understand? It is functus because he not get any right power again. In terms of don't, don't one year, four months ago. Then we say, Powell, <laughs> thank you very much. That is the end we're going anyway, because we time don't, don't we just wait for the order, we love all new elections. So give me I an few questions. I got a yeah. few questions for ask you, and I hope so you will answer them in short jabs, because I, okay. you are running quickly out of time. Dr. Sylvia okay. Blinden, of course, we can't end, we mentioned the name earlier on Bona in passing, and we can't end this program without to not mention on the side, because it also try for engage. And this is my point, that other people are seeing an opportunity for derail the party in opportunity come 2023, we play, which plays into the hands of government, into the hands of the Mother Bio government. So Dr. Sylvia Blinden introduced this in your petition, 102 uh, 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 prayers. Um, it be so obviously, you know, yeah, um, um, petty, petty. And Dr. Sylvia Blinden gonna like this, and I sure say they watch this program, that um, the judge being there for um, kind of um, dismiss them. What's going to be your position with the Sylvia Blinden, you know, position where it take, especially at that no. critical time? No, the judge did not say, Mr. Dr. Sylvia, that Blinden's prayers were petty. In fact, it was the contrary. She said they were organized and, and what was the right I word? agree. It, 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 yes, I so agree. But in the, at the end of the day, they were scanty. Okay. They, were they were scanty. They were, they were, they were, they were, they were and not them beaucoup, and besides, Waiting the judge say most of the issue where he asked for why he won't join the actions, these three issues are already before the court for determination, i.e., the 95 constitution, i.e., the, the, the conduct of the conduct of the convention, i.e., the list of delegates that were cooked up, i.e., a lot of things. And so the court say you they already been mirrored. So you cannot have this. But all I am saying here is, we saw we get with problem force as politicians, which cannot be insensitive to the plight of our members. Otherwise, it would transcend to the nation if we come in governance. When one member is aggrieved, you get for addressing issue. We all know the reason the same. We all know they think the same. We we'll not get the same mental faculty. We we'll not get the same pedigree. But anyhow, some man one channel in own grievance, let us give them audience and try for listen to them and try for anybody say to answer their party, try for use the mediation route. I mean, the court due process, they tell you, say, even in civil practice, you get for show signs of mediation before you proceed with a civil case. Okay. You understand? So in this same way back, Dr. Blight, in, in case we're lucky, you know, see the light of the otherwise, even for take we are back. Because some of the prayers here, you may say they might not have the legal compliance or they not get the touch, 
But litigants in persons normally get leniency in court. So the form or any other things where you say it not comply to my not all in other. And there is a precedent. Yeah, but lawyer that. Ahmed, a judge, a judge can be biased, right? A judge can be biased that even no, when something not rise cannot, up. Judges cannot be biased. I cannot say that. Judges cannot. Okay, I know you, you won't say that publicly, but I will say this, you know, here on this platform tonight, I can say that the views of judges, the position of judges can be biased, of course. There are precedents, many of them, we can cite them here tonight. Of course, we don't get time. We could bring lawyer, uh, uh, um, 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 CC for talk about um, something else on another day, not to, on this basis yeah. for Campo on the spotlight as a lawyer. Of course, he's never going to you know, yeah, say that. Many thanks for that, sir. Um, another you. issue I want to bring to you quickly is like, um, um, would you like to see Sam Sumana back into the party? No, not just Sam Suman. I would like to see everybody back in the party. I know one political. I know one political <laughs> answer, lawyer Ahmed. No, no, it's, no, a, it's, it's a direct. Listen, it's, listen. A direct it's a it direct. It's just Sam Sumana. Answer. It, 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 I would like to see Sam Sumana in the party. I would like to see Alpha K back in the party. And I spoke to the leader about this. I would was, like Alpha to Khan, see... was Alpha Khan suspended? No, when, no. Well, these are done. But why are you men, why are you mentioning him? You see, this is agree. the thing. There's always no, a kind of agree. smoke screen. The question they here are... is: Would you want to see um, Sam Sumana? That's the bone of contention. Oh, and you're yes. mentioning names like that have not been suspended. I am a very listen, listen. Listen, I don't miss my I'm word, Mr. Kuma. I am a very advocate of Sam Sumana to come back in this party, and I was very pivotal in the process understand but what i am saying it is based on the premise the general premise that i believe that politics is number if we as i am a timney man okay if we look at an apc party from a, a regional spectacle or just a tribal spectacle we will not thrive Kono is a swing state. I've been in and out of NAC. Every elections in the APC, I've been representing the party in the NAC. I know the demographics, national demographics, in terms of how we registered, how the pendulum will tilt to one party. And I know the significance of a region, especially with us in the APC. We've never won the election without having a significant, I, we always say, the 250 margin. We need 250,000 from the South and the East, minimum 250,000 votes from the South and the East, i.e. Bo, Kenima, Kono, Kailau. We need minimum, I said minimum, minimum 250,000 votes. So if you want to, and if this is the icon today, it's one of the prominent leaders in, uh, in the Kono district, of course. So if we, as a party, we we say everybody for come cont uh, uh, contest election in accordance with the new provisions of the new constitution. We'll not say they can do selections. So waiting wrong if we get people then for come and then the party say mm, I'll not vote for Sam Juman, I'll vote for Samura, I'll vote for Kemosi, I'll vote for Richard Conte, I'll vote for JFK. You understand? Yeah. Then you give the people then choice. Yeah. Okay. So what do we stand to lose if we try for shield people in my way that this party? Okay. That Lawyer is my Ahmed. Lawyer Ahmed, I absolutely, yes. I absolutely agree with you. People should be given the opportunity. The political space should be open and people are for able to express themselves in different ways within political parties of their choice. That's the essence of democracy. I do, I do agree. I do agree with you. I mean, just one kind of feel your sentiment. And again, like I say, I get three um, last questions for you. One of them still there on Sam Sumana, which is what are the chances? And I ask you this question and quickly, looking at the dynamics, you know, they are changing because you mentioned historically what him in the happen. But it's no longer the same, Mr. CC. And I stand to be corrected, but it's no longer the same. Like Kono, for example, is splintered. Um, Mr. Samsumana, Alaji Samsumana, is still a heavyweight, but that clout the way even they conjure up there, it's no longer there. And I give you a reference why I say so. The party where he lead to elections where we win um, eight seats or so, it's no longer the same. And they all come up from that region they now didn't draw the, the, the numbers from. And it's no longer the same. He's at feud with Emerson Lamina. Emerson Lamina is at feud with him. And therefore, it, there's a split. So 
We can't just look at directly from that point, they say it will be able to deliver. In fact, what other pundits are saying, the recent election we happened there was something like a referendum on the popularity of Samsumana, na the Southeast, the um, um, na, na Kono, na Kono district to say come out. He no longer weighs that clout. You hold a different view? Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Listen. Um, you see, I tell you, say politics is about number, okay? Yeah. It will be, Sam is no longer with C4C. C4C no get no votes. Less little or no votes. People are waiting for Sam Sumana for suicide they go. Sam with the Allah say, not the APC. So people they say, oh, no vote. If you see 4,000 people in register, forget about the vote, the turnout was record low. You understand? And then secondly, we had 103 votes. A party with only in power since 1963. We get three, only 103 votes. An independent candidate where the associate say is pro Samsumana gets almost 9,300 votes. The party in government struggled until where they rogue the two main area where that boy come out, then damage the boxes so then we will beat him. A candidate where they associate with Samsumana. So now forget about Samsumana, say he's part of this process. If you as a strategist, if your party gets the lowest record in the council election ever, Nakono, won't you step up and say, I need for big pop me party representative Nakono and bring in more people on board? You would. Okay. That is all I'm saying. Okay. You would from... say, okay. I'm not saying we should win Kono. I'm saying we need 250,000 minimum at the Southeast. So without 30, 40, Kono, 180,000 registered voters. Even if we split that vote, we get 40,000, 50,000. We move go Kailau, we get what you they get. We move go Kenima, we come Oyamba, we get what you they get. We forget that 250,000 votes because the register, the margin between the North and the Northwest as it is, when you put the North and the North, let me say the North, Northwest together, and you put the South and Eastern region together, the South and Eastern region put together, then just pass the North by 225,000 votes. Okay. They pass okay. on 225. So you need a number, that number, for pulling from their own Southeast side. So then lawyer, 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 Ahmed, you make a brilliant point. Before mm -hmm. I go to me next question, you sound very much like um, two things could be the case in this in this um, scenario: a Samsumana fan, a Samsumana supporter, a Samsumana sympathizer, or just on the general party basis. That if Samsumana were to enter the scenario, then the party that you belong to, that you so love, stands a better chance. Which? A bit of both. I am saying this. Thank you very much. That's a, that's a, that's honest of you, sir. Of Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you, your position when I listen to your tips, because you know, man, we can talk publicly as well, and I do listen to you. And like I say, when I want to draw inspiration from a legal perspective, I listen to you, I, I hustle your tips and listen to you. So part of you know your informative questions here are based on just listening to your tips. But um, the party that you belong to, the party where you advocate for tonight, in terms of the membership and other issues, them, then get for hold a delegate conference. And a delegate conference is very, very expensive. And I believe say, the party don't hold two already. One was canceled when they spent millions of people and lost millions of Leons. Another one was held. Another one, you know, your way, just for good result, um, a membership issue will have to be held. And that might cost maybe over maybe 1 billion, 2 billion, if I can put a price tag on them. Where do you stand again, lawyer MCC, on the basis of party just they hold uh, uh, sessions just for resolve some of the issue there, or do you have an alternative plan? Because the money not there for just the whole issue there. I should say you agree with me. No, no, no. The next convention, it is mandatory. The next convention is the convention we all been waiting for, that for choose the new executive under the new constitution. So that is the convention that is where we expect in the next three months or so or four months. That one is necessary because that is the convention where we get for choose a flag bearer, we get for choose a national executive. So 
is necessary. So it's not like the, this one will just soon have an emergency delegates convention for go choose, for go adopt the constitution. So that is different. So for say with the old conventions, the other convention that uh, portions to uh, out of court settlements will we get with, 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 with NRM in all right. This one now court order we will go hold them. So, but this next one is mandatory. We have to. Okay. Okay. Um, from what you don't say, but largely waiting with the understand from the outside is Dr. Samora Kamara Nadiman. But Dr. Samora Kamara is in plenty of problems. So some of the reasons why we tie to this particular segment, APC in a quagmire 2023, how prepared, is because the man way the establishment seem for the throat and wait behind, seem for they in trouble with the law, the ACC, the justice system in Sierra Leone. Is that something that you are happy about? Is that something that you would like to see so that the, an alternative will emerge? No, 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 no. <laughs> Dr. Samurai issue, we are going to, we, we, we are going to fight back. We believe strongly that Dr. Samura Kamara in Naposhi we get unblemished record. Integrity is still the intact and we get, we get all this action be at the hallmarks of prosecutorial bias. What I mean, it is portions to an audit report whereby we had the chance rebuilding of which Dr. Samura has been arraigned before the court of law. We had an issue linked to, uh, uh, we get issue linked to corruption regarding the, the first lady office. We get issue we linked to immigration, corruption in immigration. The same audit reports highlight up to six important areas and then they just highlight Dr. Samura Kamara issue. And we, we as a party, we're going to defend this one. Listen, my, my in, in me personally believe, see, the way to way I give Dr. Samura Kamara Nagi, every will be a presumptive flag bearer in the APC. Dr. Samura Kamara, we believe, see, we know they're against corruption, but we want, what you will not let foresee, we want a fair process. And so far, he so far, I don't think they treat Dr. Samura fairly because if you have six people, then when you interview, investigate, and it is a project that is ongoing and monies have been disbursed and they still disburse money. It is the general interest of the public for let we know the money where they don't disburse from inception as so today. So, so if okay. you go just point a million dollar or so, a couple of million, where you say Dr. Samura, and besides, they were interviewing Dr. Samura on procedural impropriety, and later now they charge him with misappropriation. Misappropriation is theft, and the evidence burden is higher. And so far, they don't intend for offer evidence. So we feel saying a prosecutorial bias for blemish Dr. Samura in good character, and we're going to fight prosecutorial the last bias. Time. Prosecutorial bias by whom? By the ACC. By the ACC. And we'll talk yes. about the court system as well because the ACC get jurisdiction. But I know one no, point no, that no. out. The, ACC, court, just the for... court is the umpire. Okay, the, the court is the umpire. Is the, the, accuser. the accuser. We are the defendants. The court is the umpire. I'm not accusing the court. I'm asking, but I accuse the prosecutor, say, this we think is prosecutorial bias. They and we're bias. going to the court that because they have the Ali Kabas, they have so many people with I agree, I agree with you. And I want for let me stop and them right there. The only thing Dr. Samura Kamara because who feels it. And let me tell you, you are right. Dr. Samura is one of the front runner in this race. And we have every reason for belief, say, if they vote fairly, everybody will get in there in a court. One of the candidates who we expect for emerge as a leader is Dr. Samura Kamara, one of the candidates. There are more candidates that can easily win. So we, me personally don't have any bias. If someone holds me responsible because I want the party to be dynamic and to bring other people from other regions, so I so take that, trust yeah. me. But well, that is my premise and that is my principle that I want everybody on board the APC, regardless of which I come on, make you confess. If you lost, we get very easy for go tell you people and say, listen, the APC party, we're not just here for married. Anyway, I don't want to reach that side, but to be yeah, honest- that's, that's, that's all right, M.M. Um, Dr. Samurai, I think you, I think... we're going to defend it with all our might. 
Okay, and you've made that point very, very clear, and I'm sure that will have warmed the, the heart of the supporters of um, Dr. Samora and um, other APC, you know, you're like trying to close ranks. And uh, I want to say thank you for this particular conversation. And on this basis of which we just talk about just now, I definitely get to invite you back because this is quite interesting. So we go actually give you time because this not to me, not to me A at this at all. So we actually give you time for letting you broke and down for we as to waiting to happen, especially with this chancery business now New York, the acts of corruption, of course, we can weigh on that and the evidence that we don't come out and how they overlook them and how they deal with them. We go bring you come on maybe a 45 minutes program. You just wipe the floor clean with that. But we don't okay. come to the end of this program, um, lawyer um, CC. And I really do appreciate you. And I'm sure the audience here will appreciate you tonight because we've had a candid, you know, year back and forth. But as usual at this platform, we always want to give we guess them the final opportunity for just wrap up. One thing I want to remind you of which I know ask now the state, you know, yeah, of we country today. You, you, mm -hmm. you know, in, yeah, and many things, you see. So if I continue to go on, that's why the interview can get so extended because we can want to put everything into one segment. Unfortunately, that cannot happen because people in need for go, including myself, the moderator. So at this mm -hmm. point in time, lawyer CC, I give you the opportunity, sir. Take five minutes. Five minutes of talking is quite a long time for just sum up with entire, you know, your deliberation. Where are we? Who are we going to go? And how do we get there? Uh, how do we get there? How do we get there? We have to, <laughs> we have to vote 2023. Vote the APC. That's the only it's way we get there. As in, well. in a more serious note, what we are not happy about the current day is the census. We've made a policy statement from the party. I mean, unanimously, the party decides say they will not participate. I might have a slightly different view, but I have to go with the party's decision. The census, yes, the president under the Census Act 2002, Section 2, may call a census. You may say he gets the right to call a census. But the constitution gave him a due process, i.e. there has to be a committee set out with the advice of the president on that, and it has to be evidence. And then secondly, it has to be laid to the parliament. Then put a date, they announce the date for the census already without even going to parliament until we raise a flag. That's when they go to parliament now and decide, say, it's going to, there's going to be a census. Now, the census don't come, they, they decide now, say, you know what? Let us just go to parliament and bully these guys and lay whatever document. They went to be into money. And then there was a fight, chaos, with chaos ensued. And then, as far as they we we'll lay the document, go ahead and conduct the census. Now, a census is a very important process in the country development. We all know that. We have a 2015 census, which is live and kicking. The population growth they are in, no warrant any census now. The population growth, at least per annum or every five, 10 years, the way, way they go 2.5%, 2.3%, you cannot expect a census every five years. If you say you will get proper data, we will involve you planning. And then only for another five years, you can do another one. So you could get a deficit of up to 1.5 growth population that is not catered for. That is the issue. But what if we suspect now that, what if these people want to use this census to delimit the country? A de delimitation of the country, meaning how for shape the country into districts and constituencies and into zone. That can the be advantage. determined by the population growth. The population yeah. growth. The average, according to National Electoral Commission, 40,000 people per representation. So any side where 40,000 people then pass, they, they, they get for them a member of parliament, okay? So if these people cook up this information, how will how, how people then go know? So with all this, we decide, say, yes, we know they go through this census. And the, the financial burden will follow as well. Considering which you will get for cater right now, considering how the country they starve, this country is blessed. If we see Alunia and Snobin get the might for, for, for uh, kind of support each other, call mm -hmm. each other, seize each other, cry for each other, we for don't drown by this time. So we only say that. And the government, to be honest, the economy, no, not they perform well. A whole lot of issues. But I'll cut her short because I get people them way, way, way been come to me earlier. We've been, as you say, this program, they take one and a half hour. We <laughs> want to go. 
But um, I, as you see, in the next topic, I will come up with, if you get for invite me back on any other topic, I will come up with a piece where I write, we are for published now human, uh, uh, West African Human Rights Forum with regards to even the human rights aspects, we mean mostly they cover as a human rights lawyer in this sub region. Some yeah. issues that we will shock on our world they reveal in terms of human rights in this country. But so far, um, I go and rest and I and thank you guys very much and the audience for giving the opportunity for la land from Una. You know? <laughs> okay, it's a it's a it's a it's a um, um it's the reciprocal thing, um, um lawyer Ahmed. And um, you won't believe how much I appreciate you. And I believe, say, uh, because I know, because sometimes we do get feedback, people in the call, where's Ahmed to say, you remember the last time where you come, it took this long yeah. and people have been asking, where is he? Can we hear from him and what have you? Luckily, they got you back here tonight. So you don't know how much people appreciate you, including myself, who I'm the moderator, because when it comes to legal issues and all the conflicting issues there, you help for set my mind right. I ask the questions, of course, because I'm trying to probe as well. I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to ask. I'm trying to learn. But you've been absolutely magnificent, absolutely fantastic, my brother and my friend. And I really do Thank appreciate you. you. And apologies to you, guess the way you get, but um, um, they won't be disappointed. At least you've served the nation in terms of your contribution here tonight. Can I say good night? Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank You're welcome, you. sir. Thank goodbye you. and have Thank a good, good week. Yeah, bye-bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Fambulem, we've come to the end of another massive um, program on the then and now. Yeah, like I say, this is what we talk about here on issues pertaining to national um, um, prominence, which in the happy now we um, um, now we national cycle. That's what we talk about with government, how then they operate and how then they go about things. And the news just boku. I always say we're not going out of news anytime soon, and this is really really quite important. That people need to understand today will be a lawyer Ahmed Sise, and they don't broken down for we. On Tuesday, we will not forget for tuning. We get the dancing queen, the first lady of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Fatima Biodia, on a spreading news because everybody needs to come. What you will say is not new. We've been talking about it. But then supporters, Siko fans, the gullibles, the idiots, I will call them, because of course the gloves are off with the same as it is. They've been trying to paste us as the negatives. But what we know now, we feel vindicated because we see exactly how they play out, things we don't mean to see. Una open una eye, una see for ourselves. The best, why is it the best? It's not out of envy, especially from us, not out of jealousy, just pure analysis and see what's in the happen. So we get more for una because we see the public spot. The public spot between the pa and the mummy publicly. Can you imagine that? This is beyond everything else. So, we're gonna tune in on Tuesday and we'll bring down to una this particular program. On Wednesday, we get Anes Koroma question mark why does he continue to soldier on? That means for persist on, for persevere, which in the driver. Um, I think I've said enough. And I'm happy that I want to continue for stay on with the program, but I really need for left on for go. Not until I don't express my personal, you know, yeah, pride and um, appreciation. So at this particular point in time, Fambole, I must left Una. And I really, really thank Una. Una have a good night, a good evening, good morning, wherever you are. I will see you back on Tuesday on this particular channel. Don't touch it. Bye.